In this video, you will learn about primary sources. What are they? What are they used for? How do they differ from other types of sources? A primary source is any document, book, or artifact created at the time of an event. They may describe an experience or a thought about the event. Some examples include diaries, journals, letters, photographs, maps, recorded film or audio, interviews, speeches, sculptures, statistical data, a statute of government, some newspaper or magazine articles, manuscripts, minutes, fossils, and some original research or experimentation. Primary sources can also be more current. For example, a tweet from the Women's March can be considered a primary source for that event. Sources that cite interpret, comment on, or build upon the content of primary sources are considered secondary sources. These may include textbooks, biographies, movies, and scholarly articles. Reference texts such as encyclopedias, dictionaries, indexes, databases, and Wikipedia are considered tertiary sources and provide summary or background information on topics. These sources can be used to gain a brief overview of a particular topic, but are typically not desirable as sources for academic papers, as they do not provide an in-depth analysis on a topic. Primary sources are used by researchers to better understand a point in history, a physical or natural phenomenon, or a group or individual's experience during a particular event. For example, Say you are studying wireless communication in the late 19th century. After studying archival documents, news articles, personal letters, company publications, or maybe viewing photographs from the late 19th century, and after reading more recently published books or articles on the topic, you as a researcher have consulted both primary and secondary sources for your own research and can now compile your findings. Be sure that you understand your research topic, so you'll know the types of primary sources to look for and where you might possibly look for these sources. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.